buenos nachos, damas y caballeros. As you can hear in the background there maybe, they're already starting to fire first early here for Christmas. Probably give you a noisy mix. But can you guess where I am? I'll give you a little, little hint. I don't know why it says it in English, but soy in San Gil and the Department of Santander, Colombia. And finally, I'm really happy to be here because I'm about to enter a really nice park. I don't know how quiet and peaceful it's going to be with that kind of stuff going on in the background. As you can hear, it's setting off people's alarms, but anyhow, I can see all this area here. There's a river right down there, and maybe whitewater rafting, beautiful nature. That's what I love. I, quite honestly, I can't stand the cities. I don't like traffic, noise, all that stuff. I uh, want to be here in Columbia to discover all the most beautiful natural places, which I will show you as I go to them. I don't have a plan yet for anything. I'm just winging it, going where I feel like. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go get my ticket for Parque Jalineral. I think I'm pronouncing that very correctly. Um, I've been here actually probably two times before and in San Gil. Uh, I think this is my fourth trip here and I do like it a lot as I've mentioned in other videos because it's the adventure sport capital of Colombia. So they have bungee jumping, they have whitewater rafting, they have uh, parapente, which is paragliding. Uh, what else? They've got caves to explore. Hopefully I'll be doing that tomorrow's Christmas. So I'm guessing that everything will be closed tomorrow, but after that, I want to go do some tours of caves, some other waterfalls that I haven't been to, including uh, Cascada Juan Curry, which is about um, 30 minutes that way down the river towards Charala, the, a little small little town. You've also got um, Barichara, which is a really nice authentic little town about, uh, I think it's about 45 minutes that direction. And it's just an old colonial style town where they're keeping it in its original state as best as possible. No McDonald's, none of that kind of stuff there, thank goodness. And I think if I remember correctly, San Hill, I don't think they allow any of those kind of franchises here either, like the KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, which to me is thumbs up because that means there's more people can have their small businesses selling hamburgers and fried chicken. There's plenty of that. Uh, at least the ind independent people who have those places will make money instead of having to work for this super, I don't, I don't even know what the uh, minimum wage here in Columbia is, but it's probably pretty sad. So anyway, I, I really like that about San Gil as well. It is growing a little bit, but uh, it's still a small city feel to it, uh, as opposed to Bogota, which is craziness. So anyway, let's get on with it. Let's go explore some beautiful nature, and I'll uh, check back in after I got my ticket, and I'll let you know how much it was. I am in, and the cost? It was much cheaper than I remember. I don't, I don't know why, but I thought for some reason that it was a little bit more expensive to come in here. But it's only 6,000 pesos, 6, pesos, which is $2 Canadian dollar, whatever, 50 American maybe. So just showing you a little, kind of a little bit of a dried up creek. You can see a bunch of these really beautiful trees, but even bigger ones with all this hanging mosses. One of the things this area is kind of known for it looks like she told me that um, <clears throat> they're going to be doing a, kind of a Christmas. You can see here, these are all strings of light. And they're going to be doing a, a Christmas light show on Friday and Saturday, she said. So that might be worth coming to. That's going to be, what is today? Tuesday, I think. <laughs> you kind of, kind of lose track of time when you're on a trip. So yeah, it looks like it could be uh, fun to come on that day. I'm just going to turn around the uh, GoPro so you can not have to look at my funny looking face. <clears throat> and as you can see there, they have little food stands. Nothing terribly exciting really going on here except to just enjoy nature, which I am always more than happy to do. I'm not sure what the deal is with the swimming pool there. Guessing that might be an extra fee or something, but 
I'm not really much for swimming in chlorinated chemicalized bodies of water anyway so I probably wouldn't have utilized it anyhow. I'll go in the river and lakes any day. So it looks like you got a, a metal Christmas tree here. Very nice. These three colors here are part of the uh, Colombian flag. Flag in Espanol is bandera. So you get all these little bonus things when you watch me. I give you a few Colombian Spanish words that might be helpful. Trees is arboles. Now, I'm sure that my pronunciation isn't exactly perfect, but I do my best to pronounce words as accurately as I can. And if you bring the kids, they can play on these things. Lots of uh, seats in various states of disrepair. It's very uh, kind of jungle bookish. The huge uh, leafy trees like over there getting close to the river now so we'll continue on down that way I'm debating about whether or not I want to do uh, whitewater rafting again I did that here it must have been 15 years ago now I'm going through a little I actually have to duck I'm going through this tunnel of plants But as I was saying, I uh, came here 15 years ago when I actually had my first and only <laughs> Colombian girlfriend. And we came all the way from Bogota to Sand Hill and another place, uh, Villa Leva. Which I'm thinking about Villa Leva too. It's another old colonial town. They've got the old town and they've got the new town. But it seems like the prices for staying in the hostels and hotels there is a little more expensive than than normal than sand hill. So here's the really cool thing about these trees. Give you a nice low view. I see some ants on there, but they've got these big long root systems that just jet right out of the uh, the ground. Some really spectacular trees. Um, the, the hanging moss looks a little bit sad right now. Maybe it's been a little bit uh, too hot, but I'm sure I'll find a Pretty sure there's a bigger, better one down that way. And here we have none of those beautiful trees with their beautiful roots. This one's got a palm tree growing right beside it as its neighbor. It's probably hard for you to see the hanging moss up there, but trust me, it's there. This tree has a little bit healthier looking hanging moss. It's probably hard to see on the GoPro, but looks like that guy there is. <clears throat> stringing up some lights for the show on Friday and Saturday but so far it's like I'm just wandering around enjoying the place to my habit all to myself which is exactly what I like it's a little path down to the river yeah looks like it kind of sort of is and if you come to Columbia Finding a quiet place can be a challenge because Colombians just love their loud music. But I'm not complaining. That's what gives Colombia the vibrance and the life that it has. That's why you come here is to experience that kind of stuff. So it looks like they're building a almost like a a castle theme place over there. I presume it's still in the process of being built because they've got the crane there. But anyhow, this is the river. And if you do go whitewater rafting and come to Sand Hill someday, this will be the river that you'll be going down. Kind of cool, there's a little sandy beach here. I, I want to go to the ocean at some point during this trip, but Again, I don't know where I'm going to go or when. I have basically 11 weeks total. I'm only on day three. I, uh, I want to go explore a place that my friend told me about. 
called Tulu and Covenas on the Atlantic coast, which is, um, let's see, which direction would it be? Well, it's a couple hours from Cartagena, which is a, one of the main touristy cities in all of Colombia, very famous place, the city of romance. You can go on, of course, buggy ride tours and everything. So I think I'm going to plant myself right here and enjoy the little beach for a bit. <sighs> yeah, I like it. Even with the loud music. Hear the birds in the background. Last time I was here, way over in that other direction there in the park, <clears throat> I ran across, I don't know if it was a macaw or whatever it was, it was just all one of those birds that has, or a toucan maybe, but it had all those super bright beautiful colors on it. I have a photo in the past of it. But I don't think I'll be able to dig that out with the files that I have with me. And here come some rafters. More of a kayak I guess. Seems like seems like they have more options now. We've got way more rafting. <laughs> a little backwards there. Get it together people. Maybe they're waiting for some friends. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to go up creek is uh, obviously a challenge. Oh, well, here comes somebody else. <laughs> Coming down sideways, just like you're supposed to. Not. I don't know how well you can see it, but this tree here has some beautiful yellow flowers. I'll uh, zoom in when I do the post processing. And the tree, it's amazing how smooth the bark is. Acacia. Okay. But yeah, it's almost, it's so smooth, it almost looks like it could be made out of concrete really straight too up until it gets up higher. I guess it's one of the things that gives it that uh, jungle book look because besides the flora and fauna are these hanging vines. So maybe it's more like a Tarzan place but either way I love those kind of shows and I really like that they have the uh, natural stone walkways too. rivers down there again. Take a little quick wander. I think this is a, oh yeah, that little tributary creek. I think there's a bird. More sand. And uh, just another little <laughs> factoid. It is again the day before Christmas and so we're in the dry season now and have been for approximately a month so if you uh, don't want to come during the rainy season then don't come between I think it's July and November or thereabouts don't quote me on that but Columbia has uh, been known for some Pretty uh, horrendous mudslides right that are covering up main routes from cities like Bogota to Cali. There's been huge mudslides and big delays in the traffic. It could be a bit of a nightmare. And uh, as you can see, there are mountain mountains in the area. It's, it is a mountainous area, but not anywhere near the sides of mountains and Parque. Natural Nacional El Cucuy or Los Nevados, which I've been to Los Nevados. I really, really want to go to El Cucuy because that's where the most spectacular mountains are. There's snow capped, there's glaciers up there, believe it or not. But unfortunately, for the past, I'm going to say six years or so now, five or six years, they've actually closed up the main upper level. And the reasoning behind that, I've heard, is that there is uh, 
indigenous people that live in that area and they weren't too happy about a the litter and I think the just the wear and tear on that beautiful area so on one hand I you know I can't blame them from the wine to protect that beautiful area but I really want to go up into the upper area that's where the most spectacular mountain scenery in Columbia is in my opinion so I'm wondering if they even have the lower areas you can do I think it's three or four hikes up into the mountains but only to the mid level I think it is so, and the, you have to have a guide it's mandatory to have a guide which of course is an extra cost and when you're on your own well it can get a little too costly but anyway that's another subject for if I make it out that way I'm actually in the area where if I'm going to go I should probably go to El Kukui from around Bukaramanga but it's still a bit of a bus trip I think 10 hours uh, along a, I heard it's a pretty bumpy road you're really getting out into the Booney area where there wouldn't be any tourists and, which is totally fine by me and now with everything that's going on of course there's hardly any extranjeros foreigners but again that doesn't bother me but you know it's really sad for all the people who are depending on money from tourism I'm sure even the locals aren't, aren't uh, you know spending money is as they normally would so tourism has to be pretty deeply affected in Colombia right now as it is everywhere even Canada I doubt I'll be able to get too close but there's only you can see the butterflies playing butterfly is mariposa but yeah just so nice here just what the doctor ordered Oh, and while I think of it, they do eat their little temperature tests on the wrist when you enter the park, so I'm <clears throat> presuming that's going to be a pretty common and standard thing here in Colombia. I'd like to introduce you to Juan Valdez. Hola, señoras y señores. Tengo el mejor café in Colombia. Thank you, Juan. He just said that he has the best coffee in Colombia. And I actually did a, when I was in Salento three years ago, two years ago, which is uh, close to the city of Pereira. Salento is one of my favorite towns in all of Colombia. Safe, colorful, clean, really nice place. So if you come to Columbia, you have to go there if you have the time. Anyway, they have coffee tours. And uh, they had some photos of the different Juan Valdezes that they've used over the years for promotion of their coffee. So I have a video that shows all that. One of my first videos that I made with my cheaper camera that I had at the time. But it answers the question, is Juan Valdez real? Is there really a Juan Valdez, a person named Juan Valdez, who cultivated coffee or no? Find the answer on my video. Well, we're coming up to a little bridge. I can't really remember what's on the other side, so we'll go find out. Here's another little food stand with uh, souvenirs. Café de la, de la Région. And we're back to the uh, swimming pool area. Swimming pool is piscina. Oh, there's Santa Claus and Rudolph. I don't know who that dude is, but looks like he's doing water rafting. All right, let's go. Go across the uh, 
cool old bridge. Puente de la Mor. That means uh, the point of love. So I guess since I'm on my own, I'm not going to be getting a whole lot of love, but I guess I just have to learn to love myself. You see more uh, rows of lights, so this is going to be all lit up. Beautiful old bridge. Nice wood planks. Oh yeah, this is going to be neat over here. With the uh, hummingbirds and the, what did I say, butterflies is in Espanol? Oh come on, you've forgotten already? Mariposas. This is uh, Calibris, hummingbirds. Mariposas y colibris. Okay, so this over here was the type of bird that I saw in the park when I was here last time. And I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. Another creek. Muchos quebradas. Muchas quebradas. Creeks. I don't think I've ever been down this far. Tindel Sendero, por favor no pasar. All right, Father Time, you do not go any further, so. I guess I'll follow the rules for once. We just cranked up the music over there. I wonder if that's a live band. I kind of think that it might be, so let's take a wander over there. See if we can find out. That's another thing I, you know, I just love about Colombia, Mexico. You, uh, you're out and about, and there'll be a little mar mariachi band in Mexico, and I don't know what they call them here, but they'll be sometimes in the streets and the touristy areas. It is a live band, but uh, I don't want to record too close because it's a it's a birthday of a somebody here. So. Actually, really good. Like I say, I don't want to nose in on the uh, birthday party. Try to be a, a tiny bit respectful once in a while. This is the uh, restaurant area here. The main restaurant, that is. A few people there, but again, as I scan around, you don't see anybody walking around. So it's pretty quiet. Here's a better look at the pool. I have to confess that it's, it looks awfully inviting. And the sign here doesn't say anything about any extra fees, so... I simply could not resist. I'm very thirsty, so I got a helado, ice cream. It says it is an all-natural ice cream, which is kind of nice. But this is maracuya. maracuya. Maracuya, if you've never had it before, it's just delicious. I think it's passion fruit, but yeah, it's my favorite thing that I get down here whenever I order juice and they have maracuya. That's what I get.
verdaderamente natural. I think that means it's really natural. So that ice cream that I just had was uh, 2,500 Colombian pesos, which is approximately a dollar Canadian. So I think I'm just going to wander down to the river again. Chill out. Hear the band over there playing again. Could be a quinceanera. Quinceanera is when a girl turns 15 and Colombia, basically like Sweet 16 in Canada or the US, but here it's 15 and they make a quite a big deal out of it. In fact, if the father has a fair amount of money, they it's almost they'll spend almost as much money as they would on a a wedding. Seriously, I've been to a couple of them actually. the Ten Commandments. I found the book of the Ten Commandments here in Colombia. Anyway, yeah, one time I went, I accompanied my friend who is a full-time photographer. He's been in some of my other videos, Carlos Capeto. And I helped out. I did, took a few shots of my own during the quinceanera and they had literally, it was like a circus. It was big fancy dinner had to have been I don't know 200 people maybe at least 150 thereabouts and they had people on all dressed up clowns jugglers fire I can't remember if they had fire or not <clears throat> fire jugglers but they had a whole cast of people that were all dressed up in costumes and Oh, they had this, one of the best DJs apparently in Colombia was at the event in Pareda and, uh, you know, the whole nine yards with the light show and the fog and dance floor. I can't remember how much it cost the father who had a, another daughter. So imagine having to pay for that twice, never mind once. But, um, Oh, I can't remember how much it was, but it was, it was over $10,000 US. So it was, it was a lot of money. And then imagine once they get married, he's going to do all that over again. But I guess he has the money, so. <laughs> Bienvenido a Colombia. I think that's going to be going on all night tonight. Anyhow, I think that it's time to wrap things up for today, damas y caballeros. I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of Parque Alini Rao. And in case you were wondering, the temperature when the sun is out full force is about 27, 28. Oh, the birds. There's a bird. That's the bird I was looking for. Hello. Hello, pretty bird. Don't, I don't want to scare you. I'll have to zoom in on him. Hello. Hello. Let's see if I can get down around a little bit closer. Well, that was good timing since I was just about to go. I say I don't want to scare him off, but I'm sure he's probably pretty used to people being around him, so shouldn't be too bad. Aren't you beautiful? Que hermosa. Que hermosa. Yes, you are beautiful. Ooh, not very good light there. Hola. Habla inglés o español? Nada. Neither. Estás tímida? Un poco tímida? Hola. Soy de Canadá. ¿Y tú? Doing the, doing the shake. All right, well, we'll leave the leave the poor bird alone. At least he was nice enough not to take off. Anyhow, as I was saying, 
Hope you enjoyed the tour of Parque Alini Rao. The temperature when the sun is out full force is about 27, 28. And when the uh, sun is behind the trees or it's shady, about 23, 24, which is just a beautiful temperature to wander around. A little bit of a breeze sometimes, so it's been a great day. And like I said, if I'm around Friday and Saturday, which I'm pretty sure that I will be, I will come back and do the Christmas light tour, which I would actually look forward to quite a bit since there wasn't much in the way of Christmas lights where I went to in Bogota. So I'm gonna go check out uh, prices of tours to the caves and the waterfalls across the street. And then I have about a 40 minute walk back to my hotel. It's about uh, 4.30 now, so it's getting dark at about six, six-ish. So yeah, by the time I've done my tour info stuff, it'll be time to go. Okay, bye bye for the bird. Okay, until next time, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, please. That's this way, not that way. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Ciao. that kind of freaks you out doesn't it I don't particularly care for it either all right I'll see you later maybe we'll see you on Friday or Saturday okay hasta luego hasta luego